Hey guys, Mort here, um, with a tutorial. We've been eager to make this for a while, um, as most of you have seen in our videos, since we all use Dandelion and shit, um, we use tokens, we use our custom made tokens. So for example, here we go, uh, some of these, this is a, what's it called, Jelly Bean something? Jeremy, yeah, then. Something yeah. token, it's a custom made, this is a Doppel Worry token, which you saw in our last, um, Chaos Plants, uh, mirror, mir Mirrors, eh, Mirrors Hatch. Uh, <laughs> mirror match video, uh, which Michael used, the also custom made, and this is a holo token, I don't know, hidden arsenal 2 or something, um, just a random holo, uh, looks good, um, so yeah guys, uh, by the way, check out my new mat, it's a mirror's edge mat, uh, who designed it, I don't know, someone on Poja designed it, someone on Poja printed it, um, but I really, I'm really in love with this mat, so, uh, let me know in, in the comments what you think, so, we're gonna show you how to make these comments, uh, uh, tokens, sorry, uh, holo tokens and common tokens are rare. This is actually rare though, um, but we'll get into that right now. So first, I'll, I'll show you what you need to make this. You need a holo or a common, just a Yu-Gi-Oh card of which you want to make a token. You need one to like 100 uh, random tokens, so which you get in uh, tins or boosters. Uh, not boosters, tins. Just tins probably. Yeah. Uh, just plain tokens and a sleeve to get the token in. Um, you need also also need a, a scissor. To cut out it, to cut it out, uh, and a glue stick to stick the picture of the card onto the token. Um, okay, just uh, a quick quick note: if you're like me and you're a dumb fuck, you scratch your own old playmat. Um, that's why I have to buy a new one actually, um, because I um, I use my my pocket knife to cut out the uh, the token and I cut through it and now I got a scratch on my playmat, which. Pretty much sucks, but it's okay. So don't do that. Just just do it. Just don't do it on a playmat. Just do it on a regular table, uh, like here. But uh, I'll just do it on a playmat because I'm not using a knife. So if you can use a knife. You can use a scissor. Uh, everything works. Okay. Um, okay, guys. Uh, there we go. First, uh, you need to get something like this out. The way you do that. Uh, let's see where did I get this. Oh yeah, here. Okay. Um, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh card. This was on there. It's not a blank right now. So it was on there. It's like this card now. Um, <clears throat> so you just peel this off. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Um, so first off, you need to get uh, a little edge here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Um, can you see that little edge here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. Um, you need to get, since there are like two or three layers, you need to get the top layer off. So I'll just get that off right now. Hold on. Top layer only, just with the picture on it. Uh, it's gonna take a while. I just need a little bit of uh, a practice in this. Um, it's been a while since I did this. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, as you can probably see, or probably not, there are a couple of layers here, which you need the top layer, just the top one with the picture on it. So it's over here, uh, as you can see. Um, then you you take your token, the one you you want to make it with, and you you just put it aside. Um, you use your hands to get the the. The picture off like from like like a half a centimeter or just an inch, something like that. Um, hold on here, it's not working. Okay, so just pull it off a little bit so it gets like this. Okay. Um, then you just use your token. You get the, the face of the card up. You stick it in between those holes. Um, then you just pull it. You you have to push down push down the token so it's like in between there. Okay. Um, so you push it down and you pull. And you just keep on doing that, and <clears throat> you peel, you just like you peel it off. You peel the top layer with the with the image on it. You peel it off. So um, you just continue to do that. Um, so just the top layer, not not another layer, only the top layer, because the other ones, um, the 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 image will be too thick. The card will be too thick to do that. So um, you can do this with pretty much any card, although newer cards and comments and rares. Um, are mainly too, just too thick and you can barely do that. Um, but we did it with, um, where are the tokens? Oh, here they are. Uh, we did it with a Doppel Warrior and Jelly Bean, uh, and it worked out okay. Um, but we'll show you another method to get to, uh, comments and rares going. So, so, as you can see here, we got the back of the card and the front of the card with the image on it. Um, you can just easily bend it right now. Um, just a, a thin piece of paper actually. Um, the top will be um, less thick than the bottom because you, you peel it off, but that's not a problem at all. Um, so yeah, now you got that. Um, as you know, every Yu-Gi-Oh card has um, just the, the, the monster, the, the orange, whatever it is, 
Um, then a gray border, and then the image. Uh, what you need to do is you need to cut, uh, you need to use your scissors and cut outside of the border. So you still need to see the border when you cut it. So um, let's just get this over with. Okay, so that's one. Uh, by the way, don't do this with cards you don't want to lose. Even though you want a token uh, made out of it, don't do it with anything you, you, you're not going to risk. Because this will not have this will not work every time you do it. Like with when you got like a very valuable or a very I don't know we yeah, have maybe valuable rare or a super maybe a turbo pack if you are really desperate to make a token out of it. You can try that, but um, don't blame us if it fails. So uh, for that's the warning. So now uh, you got the the crap here and the image. As you can see, uh, I left the left the border around it. Um, that's because when you when you get it on there. I see it lowers, it looks like a token. Um, the borders will like blend in a bit and when it's off um, you, you can still see the, the edges of the the image uh, inside of it. So it will look like this eventually. So you get your glue stick, uh, your prit or whatever it's called. Ninja. Psych Ninja. Sorry? Psych Ninja. Token. Uh, say again. Strike Ninja token. Oh! Oh yeah. Um, okay. Michael wants me to make a Strike Ninja token. Uh, I already peeled this one off. This one uh, worked out really good. But that's probably because it's a very old card. Uh, old cards work better than new ones. New ones are um, uh, very thick and very hard to do. So this one worked out really good. So I'm going to cut it out again. Um, with the Strike Ninja. The thinner they are, the the easier you can you can cut, a, cut in the image. So make sure you pay a lot of attention to this. Um, best do this when you, you cannot be disturbed by like your brother or sister because when you try to do it with like an, an ultimate JD or something if you are desperate you can uh, cut out Rome and that's not that's not what you have to do um, I did it with an ultimate Dekoichi token and uh, Arca Divine has it now he won a contest so that's what he won okay there we have Strike Ninja uh, cut it out pretty much perfectly um, so yeah let's get rid of this here <clears throat> you got your glue stick. Open it. Now you get your glue here. Don't use um like a um, like a bottle or of 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 glue which you can spray out. But this one is is this is just great. Um, you can use the back of your old card as a as a, a what's it called a uh, background for it. Let's say it like that. Uh, you just go make like a bit of circles. Uh, of to, to the outside, don't get in, do, do, go into the inside because that can uh, mess up your, your token. Um, so just get it down to the outside. Make sure you get get enough of this on it, uh, not too much, not too thick, um, just barely enough to uh, to get it stick. Um, so that's about it. There we go. Um, make sure you don't get too much on your fingers because you have to wash your hands. Uh, you have to do it anyway, but. Um, Make sure you fit it on perfectly with the with the border. Um, there we go. Hold on. Okay. There we go. It's possible that you get some glue on on the token or on the image itself, but that's not a problem. Um, then you just cap your token, um, wave it out to the outside. Just press it, um, and after that, you just have to let it dry for like a minute or something. Then it's already dry. Um, and after that, I think you can barely see that that was a, an, an original token. Um, was it again? I don't know what token it was. But um, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like now. It's a whole Strike Ninja token. Um, and there's this sort where the sleeve is for. Make sure you to put this in a sleeve. Don't get this loosened out because um, the glue will not last forever. It will um, let go a little bit uh, after a while. You can of course just put some more glue on it. Um, but it's best just to keep it in a in a <clears throat> And sleeve. Just make sure you put it in good. Um, so yeah, yes, that's a Strike Ninja token. Um, we tried this with uh, with several other cards. Uh, this was an ultra rare, <clears throat> as you see. We tried this with a common one at first with an elephant. That really worked out good. <laughs> Looks like crap. Um, after that, we tried to cut it out and uh, just peel it off like that. But as you can see, it's uh, it's already um, go going wrong here. Um, what you can do? Take your scissor again. And just uh, you can do it anyway. Um, just scratch it. It's it's possible 
it does take a lot of time, but you have to scratch off the top layer. Um, make sure you don't scratch through the image because that would mess up your token and um, that would have not uh, that wouldn't be uh, what you want. Just make sure you get the um, the the whirlwind thing on the back off. Uh, that's enough. Uh, you can of course even it out a bit, but it's, it's enough to get this in. Um, I'm not a fan of this. Um, comments are very very hard to make and also rare. Uh, so um, and holo tokens are that much um, that's much prettier anyway. So um, we also tried it with a parallel gadget. It's also possible. At first we, we thought it wouldn't would not have been possible because it's a very thick card. But you can also just peel off the top layer. The bottom is uh, thicker again, but that's not a problem either. You just cut it out, put it on. You got a parallel token only the image, of course. Um, also secret rares also work. It's Athena. Um, also just perfectly fits on there. Um, any rarity works. Uh, we're gonna get. I'm gonna try to to to, um, to get a ghost rare. What is that? Rainbow dragon. Gonna, gonna try to get a rainbow, ghost rare rainbow dragon and just make a ghost rare token. Just to make sure. Just just to see if it works. If it can be done. And uh, we'll show you that in the video. But um, uh, so once again, you need a, a card uh, which you want a token of. You need a token. You need a glue stick and you need scissors. That's all you need. And you need a not a play mat to do it on, but. Um, and, and the result is one of these. So, Strike Ninja token is new. Michael loves it already, I think. Um, so, guys, um, if you want a token like this, follow all the steps I did in this video. Um, if you mess up, not our fault, I'm sorry if, if it happens. Um, but it uh, works out for us, as you've, as you've seen in the video. Um, yeah, just um, would love to see you uh, videotape. Um, just, just film your own tokens which you made. Put them in a video response to, to this video and we'll just comment on them, uh, we'll, we'll just tell you how, how they go, maybe even give you tips on how to do them better, but um, let's see what you can make of it. Um, once again, thanks for watching you guys. New segment, um, if it's not out already, it will be out, you'll see it, um, it's a good segment in my opinion. So uh, Also check out our website once again, teamsouthygo.com, check out the forum, uh, register there, we're going to get a, a community going there. So. Guys, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe.